How's it going guys? Welcome back to Whoa, What Do You Think? And I spent too much money on this. How's it going guys? And here we are back for a new video and we are going to be unboxing the new PS5 for the Spider-Man 2 edition. Mm -hmm. So it's me, Amir, we got Omen filming. What's going on guys? Sup, 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 sup. And we're going to be cracking this open. We're going to see this for the first time. We just picked it up today so we're really excited and i'm gonna be using omid's katana yes sir shawlong oh, kufong he's in a wrong car from bleach big man there's a bleach sword it's, it's a bleach like he uses a special bleach sword yep. to open up this box yeah Let's get into it all right is this 19 in, is this 19 inches of venom or is this not 19 inches of venom this is 19 inches of steel oh okay yeah. <laughs> cool so cool you know, we never, I never bought a PS5. I'm not really a PS guy. I'm more of an Xbox fan. But because of Spider-Man 2 coming out, I was like, I thought it'd be a great opportunity to get the new one. So, big box. More cardboard. Cool. Uh, we love Miles Morales. Peter Parker, Miles Morales, and like you said, 19 inches of venom. Yeah. So, this is a big one. Okay. You, said you, pay, you said you paid too much for this. How much did you pay? I paid too much for this. So I think this is about like six hundred dollars. So I'm like, damn. Jesus. Seriously. Well, it's the so PlayStation Five. Everyone's loving it. Everyone's yeah, loving it. Everyone's well, loving it. Like, damn. Everyone, not everyone already has a PlayStation. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I was only gonna get it because I, I told my friends like, oh, I'm gonna wait for this Spider-Man Two bundle. This guy's a big Spider-Man. Wow, right, this does look pretty nice. Let's check right, it this, out. Ooh. This does look really nice. Damn. Yeah. So you can see this. It would have been cool if this is, is a little textured? more ref reflective. No, it would have been kind of cool if they... That's just a little bit textured. You yeah. can tell the difference. Yeah, cool. Yeah, so you see it's the symbiote taking over the red spider. Looks good. Not bad. Simple black. Is this scratched? Is that really the Venom symbol? No, so this is just also, again, the regular spider. I think this it would have been... It, that has to be the Venom symbol. It's a bit, like, a bit longer. No, I think it's the same spider as the front. Is it really? Wow. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so not bad. Overall, I think the console itself looks pretty nice. I wish they had a reflective kind of finish for this. For the symbiote part? For the symbiote, just so you can kind of see more of its texture. Because I feel like when you look at it here, it just looks like it's a regular black console with this on it, but... It looks nice. Yeah. It does look really nice. Honestly, this is my first time holding a PS5. Since I always heard about how big it was, I expected it to be heavier, but not too bad. All right, so it also comes with a special controller. And if, for people that know me, I am a big controller head. Yeah, that's good. How many Xbox controllers do you have? It's like 15 Xbox controllers and five Xbox games. So I'm like, Microsoft, yeah. Microsoft, start making some games, please. I have a Series X and I have not had any good games recently, big man. So this is the PS5 controller, the Spider-Man version. Not bad. I will say it does have a nice kind of weight to it. I still prefer the Xbox ones. Let me see if I can show you kind of comparison what they look like. So pretty much uh, similar in size. I think when I was playing a little friends, bit sleeker. This one? Yeah, the PlayStation one's a little bit sleeker. For sure smaller. Not enough textured grip, I would have preferred that a little bit. But I think what I really love about the Xbox one, sure they don't make games, but they know how to really make special edition controllers. You got like laser action here. I agree. Nice kind of blue accents. This is not a bad controller, but I think they could have either put more red into it or see the spider? Yeah, so it's not bad. It's definitely not the bad. The spider looks different, I feel like. Am I crazy? Let's see, is there a difference? Yeah, like, look at, is it, uh, am I crazy? Yeah. Uh, no, I think they're the same. They're the same. Okay. Yeah. So it's not bad. I think, honestly, the console ends up being much nicer than the controller. So you see? Both are this, really nice. I, I will say, nice. when I saw pictures of this, I was kind of very disappointed. But seeing it in person actually does look really nice because the red is a nice reflectiveness. And yeah, was there anything else to kind of go through? And it comes with a digital copy of the game? It does. So if you guys wanted to get this, because I know this wasn't as hard to pre-order as the face plates, because everyone that already has uh, a con they uh, want to get they want to get the they don't need plate, to buy yeah. a new console for it. Yeah. So I know if you're wanting to get the the face plates, those sold out like instantly. So, they sold like hotcakes. They did. And I heard people saying, oh, kind of the only way to get these now is by just getting the console and then maybe flipping the con the regular console with your normal face plates. But I'll say it does look pretty good. I think 
for six hundred dollars you get a new PS5 and you get the game is a pretty good deal. I mean, it looks nice. It looks really clean. Yeah, I, I don't know if I'm gonna use my Xbox, uh, my PlayStation as much as the Xbox. Uh -huh. uh, I have all my stuff on there already, but it would be cool. I mean, this is like my first play, uh, first PlayStation since the PS3. Mm -hmm. We didn't have a PS4. So it will be cool to finally be a part of the PS5 game. Uh huh. Um, I think it looks really. You're an nice. Xbox fan, but it's cool. You don't have a Series X. I have a Series S though. I have the One X, so I, I really love Special Edition consoles. So I was happy that they did do this because I did get the PS4 one. That one is really nice. Uh -huh. And I think I actually like that one a little bit more than this because that one's just all red, super clean, mm -hmm. and the white spider. But overall, I'll say this is a, a very nice uh, PS5 if you're on the kind of on the edge of you don't know if you want to buy it. I say, I think it's worth it. If you don't yeah, have, yeah, if you don't have a PlayStation and, and you want to play Spider-Man, I say go ahead and get yourself yeah. that. Yeah, I think if you don't have a PS5 and you're like me, I think this is actually pretty great. Is it going to come with a disc tray? It does, yeah. So you still get all of your physical games. So uh -huh. overall, I'm very happy with it. You know, when uh, just seeing the box and like, it got me excited. Like this game is coming out in like probably about a month. That's crazy, so, bro. The hype is now setting in, and I'm just uh, excited. You know, we're playing Fire Emblem 2 in style. Yeah. So, this is just the end of our unboxing video. Mm -hmm. Let us know in the comments if you guys got one, if you guys are on the edge and want to pick one up. It's been well, what do you think? It's me, Amir. It's me, Omi. And damn, it is hot. I'm yeah. gonna get I am like sweating <laughs> bad. Just because of how hot this place is in Fire There is, you bro. go. This is the hotness, the yeah. new hotness. Yeah.